Those three words that you see on the screen are very important to me. You can help this channel grow by doing any one of the three. Like, comment, subscribe. All of that helps with the YouTube algorithm. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And today's video is something a little bit different. Welcome to the Gentleman's Pixel Club. And I have one question for all you great people. Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night thinking, you know what, I know a different way to make a video? Well, I actually woke up thinking, literally, about what we're doing today. And we are playing Space Invaders, but this is a showcase video. This is a video where we're doing things just a little bit differently. And if this format works for some of you great people out there, you never know. We may do it again on other games. All the games you are going to see played today is going to be on the Mr. FPJ. This heralds the power of this system. If we do this kind of video again, it doesn't mean that we will be using a Mr. FPJ. But no, all the games you see played are on the Mr. FPJ. And the links to the non-commercially available, freely available ROMs will be in the video description below. Let's get on with the show. So, the first thing we are going to be doing today is we are going to be playing Space Invaders. And we're going to be looking at all the different Space Invaders that we've got. We have to start off with this one here. The Space Invaders that you see on the screen is the original arcade version. This is a version that we've basically got from uh, the arcade court on the Mr. FPJ. I like this because it's got the background on it as well, which looks rather neat. So let's go on again. And what we're going to do, we are going to play these games effectively to the best, to the best of our ability to see how far we can get on, see how far through the game we can get, and we'll compare against other different versions. You probably don't know what other systems are coming up yet, and no, you shouldn't know. It's going to be a surprise for you unless you look at the chapters and spoil it for yourself. But no, no, no. If you, if you look at this video without looking at any of the description, hang around, see what we do. And the benchmark we're going to use for the gameplay is what I do on this. This is the arcade version, so hopefully, hopefully... Hopefully, um, I'm going to do really well, and this will transfer to the other versions that we play. So we're not going to spend long on each one unless there's something really, really special to see. Or I get, I get, I play for hours and hours and hours. Um, and you know what? If this video turns out well, if people enjoy this video, we may do it for other games. But you've got to pray. You've got to pray to the Lord that I don't do it for Rally X because you know that will be a very long video because there are so many versions of that glorious, glorious game of which I believe currently I still have the world record on the Mr. FPJ at Twin Galaxies for. Right, get that one there as well. Okay, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, Rally X was a game that I spent hours and hours trying to beat my record here, right here on the Mr. FB FPJ. It's got an arcade core. God, I stuttered a bit there. I stuttered. It's got an arcade core, core and uh, one of those games was New Rally X, and I played it before I started this channel, and I did really, really well. And then, lo and behold, I could never, I could never recreate the brilliance that I did there and it sent me absolutely potty it really did it was a lot of hours put into that multiple videos and eventually I got there I got there I was so damn pleased and yeah I got that entered onto the uh, twin galaxies um and yeah I was really really pleased with that I never actually thought I would get any other twin galaxies to talk about or anything but yeah I did all right two more to go here and these, these little bugs are a pain in the neck come on Behold, my missiles are for you. Oh, bollocks. Yes. All right. So we are going to do a strategy of clearing as many of these rows as we can from the off. And then, hopefully, 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 they will start working very slowly up towards the left-hand side of the screen. It won't last for too long, this tactic. But, you know, uh, damn, it might work just a little bit. And now we're going to clear the bottom two rows as much as possible of everything with the odd third row where we can. Oh, I say the odd third row where we can. And I literally got an extra life as soon as I died. So Jesus was looking over me. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, mother hell. That was, what, that was one pixel too close. I thought I was at, I thought I was safe. All right, so we've cleared one sheet of this. Will it be two? Will it be two? I believe, and I don't know if it's true, I think I've mentioned this um, elsewhere when we've played Space Invaders, that every 16 shots, the uh, ship will go across the top. So after the ship goes across the top, we are going to count. I don't know where I got that stat from, it's just something that I seem to be aware of. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Is this the money shot? 16. And there's nothing going across the top. All right, well, that's a complete fabrication then and a whole load of BS that I've just said. But for some reason, I believed it to be true. All right, here we go. One more, one more. Right, okay, so we've got to shoot free. Oh, they're a bit low now, aren't they? Oh, too low. Okay, this is going to be stressful here. I don't think we'll get past sheet free. Oh, and we're gone. And that is game over. So, really, we just need to remember sheet free because, you know, these games may score a little bit differently. So, we got ourselves onto sheet free. Let's change the game. So, this is where I pray to God all of this holds together and works. So, we've got an intermission screen now. I am still using uh, the Mr. FPJ at the moment in the background, and I am changing systems. And that's the beauty of it. So, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. All right. Almost there. Almost there. And we're just going to load this. We're going to go here. We go in there. In there. And we're going to do that. And I'm going to bring the game effectively back to the screen. So now we have Space Invaders. And guess what system this is on? You know, I'll leave it a few seconds for you to guess. You might be a little bit amazed. This is. The Sinclair Spectrum. And I did a quick search and I found this game. The URL is in the video description below. But this has got something rather neat. When you hit C, you get like the arcade options there, um, which is basically how you can configure it. You know, just set the options that you want to set. So we're going to say OK to that. Um, we are going to do uh, K to put in a credit. There we go. And we're going to push one player button to start. And we're going to see how many shoots we can do. Okay, it's got 128k sound. It seems to play quite well. I bet you thought if we were going to do a Sinclair Spectrum game, we were going to do Space Raiders or something like that. But no, no, no. We've actually gone um, for this one here. And this is quite new as well. The link where you can get it is in the video description below. Okay, I feel for the moment that this is actually maybe a little bit easier than the arcade version. Let's line up a little bit. It, that, it looks so. It actually looks just like the arcade version, which is rather good. But it feels a little bit easier. All right, okay, okay. Come on, focus, 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 focus. We have to focus here. Oh, that should have hit you. That should have bloody hit you. Yes. All right. So we've got to the next sheet. I think 1,500 points was where we scored uh, an extra life before. Oh, did you see that? I was dancing between the missiles. Yeah, this is definitely easier than the arcade one. But, you know, it's a good shout-out. It's a good shout-out for, um, you know, a version of it on the Sinclair Spectrum that isn't Space Raiders. I was always amazed when I saw Space Raiders for the first time. You know, I was so pleased to see that on the Spectrum as a kid. I really, really was. You know, they did a good conversion. And they also did quite a good version of... Um, uh, asteroids as well, planetoids, and that came with a free game on the back called Missile. Right, let's see whether we can get this. Oh, yes, we can. All right, and we got the extra life as well. So, this is sheet two. I don't think Space Invaders indicates anywhere where your sheets are, but trust me, it's sheet two. Yeah, look, there's a big difference here because of the sprites. You don't get the... Oh, 
you don't get the little lines going up the barriers. I shouldn't be shooting them like that. But yeah, on, you get the little pixel lines on the arcade. But obviously, we're dealing with blocks here, so things are a little bit different. But no, the, 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 this is a glorious, glorious version. But I only found out about today. Oh, that was lucky. Did you see that? That went in between all the invaders to successfully get that. Yeah, definitely, definitely easier, but looking good, sounding good. There we go. Right, shoot free. Player one. So we're all a little bit lower now. I reckon we'll get to shoot four on this. I'm having to focus a little bit here though, I really am. Oh, no. Alright, and shoot four if we get to it will be the record that we try and beat on the other games. We're only going to have one go on each game though, so you know, we've got to do this right. We've absolutely got to do this right. Ah, oh, no, I was never going to get it. It was worth a chase. Okay, last few. Oh, balls, I missed it again. Ha! Huh. All those shots are missing. Awful, awful, awful. Alright, shoot four, here we go. They're going to be pretty damn low now if this follows the usual pattern. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, sugar. gone game over all right so 3600 but as i say the score doesn't matter we did get to shoot four and it is now it is now time to change the game again so again game change in progress as we move to something else now what are we going to fire up next what are we going to fire up next if you don't know place your bets but i'm not going to give you any money if you're right And this is the beauty of the Mr. FBJ. You can set things up pretty fast to actually swap what you want to be doing. So, welcome to... Welcome to... Space Invaders. Here is another platform. It flashed off the main screen a little bit quickly. Do you know what it is? It might pop up above me because we've got the rotating cycle. But no, if you don't know and if you haven't guessed... And oh, look how high they are. Look how high they are. This is Space Invaders on the Commodore 64. So let's give this a go now. Here we go. Press any key to start. So this is a PRG file that you can load in to play it. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, I've got to turn that down. I'm very sorry. I cannot listen to that high-pitched whistle too high for the whole thing. Oh, that's a bit off-putting. It looks nice. It looks nice. But that, that, oh, that shooting is bad. All right, for the sake of my sanity, and you all think there's alarm in the background, right, the volume is really...
turn down now. It is so low. You know, you could probably barely hear anything and we died, but we can't listen to that. But we're going to judge this not on the sounds, but on how it plays. And I think me moaning, let's try shooting these. Yeah, these barriers are a bit better than that other spectral one there. Um, I think me complaining about the, 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 the sound got myself killed there. It feels quite slow. It feels sluggish. And I'm not saying that because of the Commodore versus the Spectrum band with you know, you know, uh, battles, you know. But it does feel very slow. You know, like normal Space Invaders, you can only fire one missile at a time. But, you know, it's it's not fast. It's not fast. Right, okay, get that. I don't know whether that makes it easier or harder with this speed, to be honest. There seems to be less missiles coming down than what there was on the Spectrum version as well. So, you know, we could be here a long time. We could be here a long time. But we do have other versions of Space Invaders to play. So, you know, hopefully not too long. Right, let's see if I can get that ship. See, that is a nice sound. You know, with the great sounds that the Commodore can make, it does not need to make this shooting sound that it does. You know, I can still hear it very faintly because I've got that noise really, really loud um, in my headphones. You know, in fact, you can hear it for a, a few shots as well. There, you, you, des you deserve my pain. Yeah, you, don't, you don't deserve my pain. I love each every one of you, but no, that 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 sound that you can hear now is not nice you know this is that that's an alarm oh that oh well, that was all right the space invader going across the top that's an alarm an alarm type sound and that isn't nice on the ears this is a prg file so it loads in pretty much instantly as well you know i have to have all these games set up so they load in quickly the spectral one was a z80 file i actually did that from the tape file as well and i did one little tweak on that before I um, saved it as a Z80 file was I went into the configuration options by pushing C on the keyboard and I set the joystick to Kempston. All right, come on, die. No. Well, I've got no, I've got no houses left. You know, I'm like a landlord who's lost all his houses because they've been attacked by space invaders or tenants. All right, so I think we're on sheet two now. Yeah, I think we're on sheet two. Yeah, this one isn't really gripping me too much. It isn't gripping me too much. It feels slow. It feels sluggish, you know, and, and that, that, that's a bit of a shame because I'd only looked at the screenshots before getting the PRG file and firing it up to just the size of the screen. And I thought it looked great on the screenshots. I really, really do. Um, but I, I, I would be really going on about how brilliant this was if it wasn't for that missile sound, that missile sound. So it does my head in. It's not aesthetically pleasing. The graphics, though, are... You know the gameplay is it's a yeah it's, it's it's slower than your normal Space Invaders, but you know it works. And if we could go back in the day, minus minus the sound of the of, of the one shooting missile that you do, everything else is fine. Um, would I like this a lot? Yeah, I think I would like this a lot. I know I would like this a lot. Right, come on. Ah, damn it. All right, okay. So we're we're not going to get to shoot four with this. I doubt it. I'm going to try. But it's just. Uh, is that it? Game over. All right, so we didn't do so well on that, but that was Space Invaders on the Commodore 64. But good news, good news. It's time to change to another version. So yet again, we are going to bring up the splash screen of Game Change in progress. And uh, what shall we do next? What shall we do next? Uh, we are going to go here. Bear with me. So... You might guess in the background if you can hear the sounds, but it's just occurred to me that I have got um, the sounds turned really, really down because of what we have just experienced. So I need to basically turn these sounds right back up again so we hear something. Maybe, maybe, maybe we go to the right game. And welcome to Space Invaders in this strange looking color of the one of the original TV consoles, the Atari. 2600 and this is the official conversion of it so now let's get on with this and see what this plays like see what okay is there sound is there sound hang on bear with me yes there is sound now all right okay I, I i've wrecked this with the sound so i'm gonna let them die and we're gonna play again because that wasn't right 
Right, okay, now we're going to do it again. Now we're going to do it again. So how far can we get on the Atari 2600? Not very far. You see, this has better sound than the Commodore 64 version we just played. Oh, what a shot. But I can't go any more left to the screen there as well. That is the maximum I can go. So this, this, this is actually probably going to be the hardest of all the versions we've made. And look how low these are. Need to clear you and you. Okay, well, we're going fast now. Oh, and we're gone. So there was somebody years ago, I can't remember who they were, but they got all what other places have gone. They got a world record on Space Invaders. A competition was set up in a shopping centre. And I think if I read it correctly, after about four hours, they had to come and stop them playing because you know, they clearly beaten everything they needed to do. Um, and the people in the shopping centre thought it would only go on for a little while, but no, no, no. The skills were great. All right, come on, let's get you. Oh, holy hell, I did it. I did it. We cleared it. Oh, that didn't go too well, did it? That didn't go too well there. All right, so on that one, we only scored 860, and we only got two, two sheets. So, you know, that was certainly the hardest. You know, I was actually surprised I cleared one of those sheets. But you know what? It's time to change the game for one final time in this Space Invaders showcase. So I bet you actually, if you, as long as you haven't read... Uh, the details below or looked at the bookmarks. I generally bet you can't guess um, What this one is going to be what system we are going to be using for the final version of Space Invaders My right, game nearly ready the game is nearly ready And here we go if you guess this you're right and you will know instantly as soon as it appears on the screen We are playing on the Nintendo Game Boy. They did a great version of Space Invaders. They really, really did. So let's give this a go. From Tato 1994, we'll press in start. One player. And I used to have the... If I still have got the Japanese version of this cartridge as well. But no, this is great. And remember, everything we're playing is on the Mr. FPGA that shows the versatility of that system here. You know, this whole video is thanks to the Mr. FPGA. Everybody involved creating the cores and everything that you have there obviously i've created the gameplay here yes i have done the gameplay but no everybody that's been involved in all the cores to bring this to you just to show you a few versions of what i'm going to consider in the gentleman's Pixel club showcase videos where we play multiples you know up to five i don't think we'll do any more than five but we will play multiples if this video seems to work maybe two games maybe it may be three games or sometimes even four or five of games that have got conversions now if you notice the rule that i kept to this was everything had to be called space invaders i didn't go to anything that was maybe space intruders or anything like that no all of this was space invaders and all the links to or not on all the links but the links to the commodore 64 version the links to the sinclair spectrum version will be in the video description below but no on the game boy this is an ultra fun version that they did. It really is good. I have the Japanese cart, as I said, for this. This is the US cart version that we are playing here. All right, shoot. Yes, another one at the top. All right, we've only got two ships left, but you know what? It's getting a bit busy, isn't it? Yes, clear. Round two. All right, I don't think we'll get to round four on this. We will try, of course we will try. The nice thing about this version is the missiles are big. You can see the missiles coming down that are heading towards you and that actually does help. Right, okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got an extra life. Okay, so we got an extra life at a thousand points there, not um, one thousand. Uh, 500. It's actually a miracle this base till right now had been in such good shape. Oh, missed. Come on, come on. 
again. Oh shit. Sugar. Yeah. That one was Steven Seagal. He was hard to kill. Focus, focus, focus. Right, there we go, round three. That was a little bit too close. That was tight dingleberry time, that was. There we go, we took, it, we took a couple out of that column just because we could. Obviously, they move faster than less of them. Yes, 100 points. Oh, there we go. We, we, we do it. We get it. Uh, a nice shot, and then we lose our bloody ship. All right, we're all a bit low again now. Play, playing Game Boy games on the Mr. FPJ is absolutely brilliant because you get a great full screen experience, and it really does breathe a new life into these. It really, really does. Come on. Round four. So we've made it to round four. Will we get to round five? Will the Game Boy one be the one? And this is a black and white version of the Game Boy. Will this be the one where we be the bestest we can be? Take some out on this side now, I think. Focus, focus, focus. So I'm very quiet now because I want to get to round five. That's another life. That was very close. And we did it. We got to round five. So we can celebrate that. We can celebrate that. I was very close to that shot right by the side of my little ship there. All right, okay. I think we're gonna. Do, I think we're gonna do round six. Oh bollocks! Maybe not. Left. Yes, I've got one left. Three seven hundred. Game over. I got a high score, but bloody hell, bloody hell, that was a little bit close. A little bit close. So, 
I hope you've enjoyed this slightly different video. I can't do a video like this every single day. Um, a lot of work goes into setting these up, and it's not that I don't mind work, but all these videos I've done in a single take, there is zero editing, no editing whatsoever done in the creation of this, but I hope you've enjoyed it. All of you stay safe, all of you take care, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.